Welcome to my CBSE English teacher. Today let's learn the lesson Ranga's marriage by Masti Venkatesha Iyengar from class 11 snapshots. About the author, Masti Venkatesha Iyengar was a well-known writer in Kannada language. He was the fourth among Kannada writers to be honored with the Gnanpeet award the highest literary honor conferred in India Here is a summary of the chapter The story Ranga's marriage is narrated by Shama a concerned inhabitant of Hosahalli which is located in the state of Mysore Shama is enamored with this place its beauty and its people He loves the mango trees and the village pond and the creeper looking over it. He finds it unfortunate that both the English rulers and his own people have grown oblivious to the heart-fulfilling environment of Hosahalli, a place that finds no place on any cartographic constructions or geographical maps. He says that the doctor and the village has traveled to many places around the country and even the world and still considers the village to be uniquely special. The village speaks Kannada even though much has changed with the introduction of English in the casual conversations of the people. Many people like conversing in the foreign language or incorporating English words in Kannada which Shama finds disgraceful and disheartening. It all started when the village got its first English speaker Rangappa or just Ranga his father is the village accountant who sent him to study in Bangalore on his return the entire village turned up at his house to see how the city had transformed one of their own to everyone's surprise not much had altered Ranga was still the same person with the same appearance clothes manners and etiquettes as highlighted by his sacred thread that is a sign of probity of his caste Shama admired Ranga's determination to stick to his own customs Ranga often visits Shama's place and Shama is always delighted to have a chat with him so much so that Shama encourages him to get married and start a happy married life However, Ranga is not sure about marrying at such a young age. He does not want to marry a young woman who does not understand his words or is not mature enough to make intelligent decisions. He wants to marry somebody he admires and feels that arranged marriages do not provide the room to develop such admiration. Shama feels a pal that such a mild-mannered and courteous boy should remain untouched by the beauty and happiness of a sacred relationship like marriage so he decides to find Ranga a wife Shama soon finds the right girl her name is Ratna and she is Rama Rao's relative she is young well behaved and beautiful she can play the harmonium and is a great singer she was brought up in the city but now lives with her uncle after the death of her parents he instinctively thinks she will be the perfect match for ranga shama hatches a plot to introduce ratna and ranga to each other he talks to ramarao's wife and incites her to let ratna come to his house it is friday and ratna is happy to visit shama when she arrives shama pleads her to sing a song she obliges meanwhile shama calls for ranga to visit him as well when he reaches the threshold of the house he is enchanted by the melodious voice and singing of ratna he is intrigued and peeps inside to find out as soon as ranga's body breaks the light coming through the door ratna gets spooked and reaches for the corner she feels shy Ranga is also feeling coy but keeps on staring at Ratna. This makes Ratna nervous and she dashes into another room. Ranga is truly smitten and inquires about the girl. Shama delights in Ranga's anxiety and sufferance and knows he had developed a stronger liking for her. As a result, he tells him that the girl is already married. Ranga becomes crestfallen. All his desires for Ratna 
come crashing down in his chest however his disappointment reassures shama that ratna is perfect for him shama schemes with the shastri he dictates him what to say in order to make ranga realize his hidden love for ratna now he visits the dejected young man and seeing his dispirited look inquires about his situation shama advises him to visit a doctor but ranga says that he felt fine he then asks ranga to accompany him to an astrologer now everything goes as per the script the astrologer sticks to the script and tells ranga that the cause of all his worries is a woman he predicts that ranga will eventually marry a woman whose name refers to a thing found in oceans like a pearl he also wishes for their marriage to be happy and successful the plan goes ahead without a hitch after some years ranga visits shama's house to invite him to his son's birthday celebration he has a son named shama it is a way of thanking shama's matchmaking ability it was also an english way to show admiration to someone by naming a child after them nonetheless it was only due to the narrator's insight and intellect that they got married adding to the glad tidings the couple is also expecting another child the story ends with shama visiting their place for the young shama's third birthday he plants a peck on the child's cheeks and places a ring on his finger as a totem of good fortune and security from evil questions and answers question number 1 why did the narrator want ranga to get married what stopped him to do so for a while answer the narrator was very much impressed with ranga and his ability of speaking english he thought ranga could prove to be a good husband for any girl but when he told the narrator about his views about marriage and expressed his desire to get married to a mature girl the narrator had to give it a second thought before getting him married question number 2 what were ranga's views about marriage answer ranga was a young boy who was against child marriage altogether he thought that one should get married to a mature girl who understands the things and not to the one who takes the things otherwise all the times he cites some examples to justify his thoughts Question number 3 Why does the narrator take Ranga to Shastri what did the latter tell him about the problem answer Ranga had sunk into gloom when he got to hear that Ratna had married a year ago his face had fallen down as a roasted brinjal in order to clarify what was the trouble in his mind and to arouse feelings for Ratna the narrator had taken him to a Shastri on reaching there Shastri told him the reason of being worried and that was a girl named Ratna. I hope you like this video. For more interesting videos do subscribe to my CBC English teacher. Like, share and comment. Don't forget to click on the notification button too. Thank you for watching.